Good morning, Dub Nation. Today is day four. There are six days of snowboarding in a row on hill for High Cascade and Wendell's per session and we are a little bit more than halfway through the week right now. Today's activity day, so a lot of kids aren't gonna be there and I'm gonna explain to you guys everything that I can that I know about Wendell's and High Cascade because I've been getting a lot of questions about that and the first thing is that there's an arrival day which is not on hill there's six days of snowboarding on hill in a row. The fourth day being an optional activity day where you can go and do rafting or whatever they have planned for that exact day. And then after the sixth day, LDOH, there is a departure day. And we start off 8 a.m. in the morning. The coaches come down to campus, which is in Sandy, Oregon. And we meet up with the kids in the courtyard. We get all of our groups together. We know who we're gonna have. We load them onto the bus with all their gear. And then I personally drive 30. 20, 30 minutes up to the mountain, which is where we're going right now, to go and meet for nine o'clock, regroup with the moms, and it's time to send it. that I'm sure you guys are all confused on. There are two lifts here at Mount Hood. First one is called Magic Mile. Everybody has to take that one to get up to the second one. On the second lift, it's called Palmer. And on the giant Palmer Glacier, there is a separate section, not for the public, that is roped off, and it is called High Cascade and Wendell's. There are two camps that collaborated together, and we pretty much just get to mob down straight to the park. which is the pro public which is not to be confused with boy oh hi i've received a go for oh my god and here we are officially probably 9 30 just got into the park and for the first almost three hours it's full-blown coaching we literally teach these kids anything they want to do, slash and or hot lap, slash and or just have an amazing time. But we got a giant two pack here right now. We got probably 15 different rails set up, tow rope. And once you're in these parks, you can leave and go lap other ones, but you're not allowed in here unless you're with the camps. We are down to one tow rope right now though. Normally it's two and there's a bottom section with a huge half pipe, but she melted out and it's session five. We're just stoked to have a little bit of snow left. Damn, 
I'm just gonna. You've been filming for 52 yeah, seconds. Yes. Yeah, you film everything. Can I have all the B-roll? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's go. What's the one thing you're gonna do? More speed. More speed. Done. All right, it is 12:30. We just finished up lunch. Lunch goes from 12 to 12:30. Parker comes through, reshapes everything, gets it all salted and super nice. And if you guys are wondering how all the snow is here, they hort a lot of it and they push it all into the same spot throughout the spring so that it's a giant, giant crevasse here that is, or I guess gully here that is completely filled with snow way high. So it melts all summer down and they salt. Hi. They probably use thousand pallets, maybe even more of salt to harden this stuff every single day. And it's kind of insane actually. So guys, you love to struggle in life. Do you want to like give me a hand? No. There's no line down there. Why don't you just go down and grab, a, grab, grab one of these things, bub. We got one more hour of coaching the Groms and then it's free ride time for the coaches. say that there are a lot of rails and jumps here. Me and Mike just love jumping. So you can progress on anything you want. You can hike the rails, you can hike the pipe, you can do anything you want. We just, for some reason, summertime and we get together, it's follow cams off the jumps until our bodies can't do it anymore. Almost three o'clock. Boys gotta unfortunately wrap it up. I'm gonna do a throwback right now, but I wanna see if any of you guys can name the video that I tried to do this line in I last know summer. Exactly what you're doing. No, you don't. Yeah, I no. Say it right now and then if it's right, I'll reclip it afterwards. Back one, switch up, front three, off the toes. It's not it. It happened. And 
right around 250, you will find a wild topher kindly asking you to remove Fox your body. Fox! Get out of here! <laughs> or you will be paying $10 a hit and hiking up. <laughs> I have a 128 gig SD card. Dude, Sean, happy birthday, my G. What Thank do you got to you. say to the vlog right now, man? Just living the dream out here in Mount Hood. Had to do it because Casey. Love to hear Here it. we are, gonna throw some backies. Yeah, oh, that's the claim, that's dude. That's the claim. All right, guys, we are off hill. The one thing I didn't say about being on hill is that normally at 12.30 after lunch, we do on hill clinics and we choose a random coach or two or three coaches and we set up three different activities. Sometimes it's grabs, sometimes it's riding through the public park or just doing free riding. Sometimes it's half pipe, but we pick a select area that everybody wants to ride and everybody kind of just sessions that. So the clinics are sick. We're not doing any this week though because it's last week on hill and we don't have that many coaches and we don't have that many features honestly right now. But now that we are off hill, I thought it was 4.30, but at 6.30 I have to be back down at campus and I have a duty. The snowboard coaches get random duties down at Wendell's camp and we cycle off every other day or sometimes two in one day but today I am watching the trampolines in the Bob Skate Park. Sometimes I'm watching the dry slope but we got two hours till we gotta be down there. I gotta get some food and the number one thing is I gotta dry this gear. All right, peep this. I got an hour to chill till I got to be back at campus, and I organized all my stickers. So it is so much easier for me to ship everything out right now, and I only got like three or four more days here. So for those of you who don't know, I have an email list that I started out, and I give 10% off of everything on my website for anybody who is subscribed to that list, so I'll leave that below. You guys can jump on that. The next one's dropping tomorrow, so you can get a discount on anything that I have out and easy for me to ship right now, and then basically just found so many extra stickers that I am throwing in with every single order from Lego snowboards to candy grind to 686 and anything else I can fit in so if you're ever going to make an order for some c -Vlog stickers to support the dream now's the time because it'll never be easier for me to do it it will be but right now it's the most recent most recent easiest time like ready look at this boom done all of these the absolute dream you guys are legends and also shout out to homie who won the contest through my email giveaway because he copped some candy grind gear off of the site and sent me a message of his order of the board shorts so if you guys don't remember candy grind 30 percent off until sunday they're holding a contest on instagram right now but their whole website with code casey willax is 30 percent off they're giving out free beanies with every board short order free shipping and they're just the boys so you're gonna cop gear. I'm claiming now's the time. And I'm also claiming Coach Julian for the win. 
Here's the Bob Skate Park, and behind that wall ride are the tramps. But Julian is coaching some of his campers how to do backflips on them. So he said if I wanted to, I can just take off and go do some other stuff. So I'm gonna give a quick tour of this place. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. <laughs> I gave you a skateboard, bro. Bro, you're in a skate it broke, park. It broke. They also have a Snowflex rail course here with a two rail line. And then over there is the giant super tramps that lead into a sometimes set up airbag. All right, leave some comments. What do we think is in the boxes? More merch, so crazy. A couple last things that I wanna finish this off with because I didn't really walk around and show you guys too much because I have been the past two, three days getting no sleep, like literally four hours averaging and it's been a lot. Working here is heavy. We are nonstop and you always have to maintain a level of energy that matches the highest level of energy of any one of your kids. So summer camp is the absolute dream. You can't forget about dodgeball, which is absolutely insane. If you guys watch any of my past videos from this summer or the past summer here, you'll see in-depth breakdowns and videos of everything that they have to offer. It's a training ground. It's a facility. It's incredible. The people are awesome. If you guys have any questions about things that are specific that you want to know, leave some comments and I'll answer them but I want to say that most people are gonna ask how you get a job there and you literally just have to apply in the middle of the winter if you know somebody that works here you can use them as a reference is always good but you just got to apply just like anywhere else it's a regular job you can be a counselor who sleeps in the same rooms as the kids and is pretty much on call 23 24 hours a day drives the vans up to the hill but the counselors get to shred all day while the coaches have all day off and get to do what they want to do except for when they have duties but have to on hill coach from 8 30 or 9 until around two o'clock so it's a give and take between what your goals are but you could also work at a shop here or you can be cooking girl cheeses or selling candies or monitoring skate parks or keeping the dry slope wet. There's a million jobs that they have here and I highly suggest to any of you guys who have ever thought about coming here not only as a camper but maybe as an employee to do it because you build some serious, serious fond relationships and memories and it's the dream. I'm so happy and honored to be here and honestly a little sad that we only have two more days on hill but so much love to all you guys. So much love to everybody, all the Groms, everybody that has anything to do with High Cascade and Wendell's and has made this happen and allowed me to come here and enjoy some of the best summers of my entire life. Oof. <laughs> so we'll see you tomorrow for the dream.